Hey guys, it's Henry, Motors and Blowers. Saturday, and uh, this morning somebody texted me about uh, giving me a, a free lawnmower. So I'm driving a Holbrook, which is about half an hour on the uh, highway, to go get it. Anyway, so uh, my next project today after I get that mower is that uh, my radio doesn't sound very good. Well, why? It's because there's no antenna, man. It's not even the assembly in there to have an uh, antenna stick in here. So, uh, I don't think it's connected to anything. But I wanted to ask you guys... If you guys knew what those two things were, you know, maybe some of you guys maybe have been in the industry, do let me know what those things are and uh, maybe I can tap in, if they're antennas, if I can tap into them. That'd be kind of a cool little antenna. I'd like to know what those things are anyway. So, uh, comment down there, okay? So I'm here. Craftsman Eager One with a bagger, self propelled, side discharge option. Busted handle. It's all good. I'm gonna throw it in. So I uh, checked the oil, I checked the gas. There's no gas in it. I put gas in it. The oil's black, dirty, but it's uh, full. Tried priming it, didn't really work. I shot some uh, carb cleaner in the carburetor, pulled it three or four times, and it sputtered a little. So the carburetor needs cleaning, for sure. Also, it's a little hinky on the recoil starter. When I pull it out, it pulls okay, but it doesn't really retract very well. So it needs a little earl. I'm gonna remove that top cover, engine cowling, and then carburetor. I'm going to take that recall start off. Yep, a little sticky. WD-40. Doesn't hurt anything. Get the coils and the rope. Like I said, the rope will just soak that stuff in, make it less brittle. See that? Now it retracts very quick. Easy. Intake manifold, get the carb off. Easiest way. Plug the fuel line. And the carburetor is right there. Half inch bolt right there, take off the uh, bowl. Yes. Well, of course it's not going to start. What are you, crazy? Disgusting! This thing hasn't been used in years. There's even some water in it. That's disgusting, man. Terrible. It's terrible, man. That's a lot of work. Sometimes you want to think about this and go, is it worth cleaning this? Or should I just buy another carburetor for like 10 bucks, you know? I have to go inside and just watch a little bit of the UCLA Oklahoma game for now. Because I don't know if I want to mess with that right now. Look at that needle, man. The wire that holds the needle to the float bowl is, is rusted away. Gone. There's a stem there, just a piece of it. 
I want to show you the pin. I'd use uh, um, wire cutters to pull that out. Surprised I even pulled it out. Bowls? Okay. There's no water in it. Just dirty, you know? There's a piece of that wire. Hmm. Well, and here's the carb. It's pretty bad. I mean, is it worth cleaning? Going through all that trouble to clean that, you know? That seed is done, you know? Inside there is done. Can't even tell about the jets, you know? It's just... Sometimes it's just too much work to get it clean, you know? You don't know what else is inside, you know? So you can go through all this trouble and it still doesn't work right because it's just too far gone. Rust will kill it. I think I'm gonna just try to find another carburetor in my box of tools and see if that'll work. But I always have trouble with the leaks on the Tecumsehs. I don't know. We'll see about that. So I just started screwing with it and you know what? I'm making some progress. Just took a wired bristle brush and a uh, blue carb cleaner into the holes and now you can actually see the holes. See? So the one in the middle, the jet in the middle, doesn't look too bad, and actually fluid goes all the way through, so... And then if I, after I cleaned it a little bit, you see the seat? The seat doesn't look bad either. So, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try cleaning this, you know. Uh, I've gotten the bowl a little bit cleaner, and I've taken off the uh, gasket. The gasket actually is rubbery, as long as you don't see cracks and stuff. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it a little bit more lubricative by... Uh, putting in here. I was soaking the chain with the PB blaster in there. I'm just going to throw that in there. All right. A little Tupperware thing. You shake it up and let it lubricate with PB blaster for a bit. I'll make it a little bit more rubbery, you know, so it won't crack and disappear somewhere. So I'm going to continue with this. I'm going to clean out that bowl. Clean this. This one looks pretty good now. You always shake it and make sure there's no water in it. Or fuel. It means it has a hole, but there's nothing in there, so this is a good good float. Uh I'm gonna clean that up a bit too. That's about as clean as I'm gonna get it. It's okay. Blew that out. Looks good. I'm going to see through it. So I'll start putting it back together. I actually found a much better setup. I have a couple old uh, Tecumseh um, carburetors in my parts bin. And uh, this float and needle is nice. So I'm going to use this. So I've rebuilt this carburetor with a couple of parts here and there. Um, I think the seat's still a little hinky, you know. I don't have high confidence that this will not leak. It may work, but I think it'll leak. That's what I'm thinking. So I'm just going to hook it back up to the fuel line, let it sit there without attaching it, and see if it leaks. I just, uh, you know, put one on there. I didn't even do the linkage yet, and uh, it's actually not leaking. And after I press this for a while, stick my finger in the carburetor, it's actually wet. Could it be that it's going to work? How about that? Start it up. Uh, needs a little adjustment on the uh, throttle spring. It's, the spring is a little bit too uh, pulled out, you know. I've got to tighten that spring a little. And then uh, it should do it just a little bit, you know.
Well, that's all it took. It's just a little bit of a spring adjustment and uh, got it purring like a kitten now. Uh, I'm going to change that uh, air filter and put that engine cowling back on. And, uh, man, this is good to go, man. Clean it up a little bit and uh, we're going to split. Uh, I was thinking about, you know, buying a new carburetor, but uh, after I ran it and stuff like that, it, I guess everything just started uh, lubricating itself and uh, making the seal around the gasket and stuff. And uh, it doesn't leak anymore, you know. Sometimes that's all it takes is uh, for the gas to be... You know, uh, I don't, I don't want to say marinating, but, you know, sealing all the joints and stuff like that. You know, the float moves a little bit easier now, you know, after diluting any of the corrosion that was in there and making things stick. And so I think uh, it's sealing pretty well with the uh, seat. You know, sometimes when you have carburetor cleaner where the seat is, right, it blows up, you know, it doesn't cause a good uh, seal. So then after the gasoline starts cleaning it off and it, it doesn't swell as much it's now back to normal again and so it doesn't leak so sometimes that carburetor cleaner does make the gaskets and the seat puff up a little bit swelling so after it sits for a little bit it'll go back down to size and everything's back to a uh, copacetic status so uh that was easy man and pretty easy uh, i will admit it's been a while since i did a carb clean on the lawnmower i've been working on been working on the van so much you know what i'm saying uh, as a matter of fact i just came back because i uh actually had a couple of us, three snow blowers, that single stage snow blowers I was going to sell. There we go. Sorry. These are, uh, you guys remember these. I got these both for free. Um, and uh, they work good. They, they start up no problem and uh, they run pretty well. I was selling uh, that one for uh, 125 because it's in worse shape than the red one. The red one I'm selling for 150 They don't have electric start. The, uh, they're single stage. And I had uh, that other green thing. It's uh, it was a four-stroke, you know, uh, five twenty-two Craftsman single stage. Had electric start too. But anyway, I sold that for one eighty just now. Anyway, guys, it just occurred to me that I now own two E three fifties. How about that? I got two E three fifties. Anyway. That was fun. Messing with a lawnmower for a change, you know. I'm gonna sell this for 150. Self-propelled, you know. Nothing wrong with it. With a bagger. See you guys next time. Mowers and blowers. Easy money, guys. 180 bucks. I think I got it for free and did a carb clean. Anyway. Thanks for following me, guys. See you next time on Mowers and Blowers. Follow me on Instagram mo at Mowers Blowers. Check out my website, MowersBlowers.com. See you later.